Welcome to Ross Age Stadium, home to the Purdue Boilermakers here in West Lafayette, Indiana, and they have been ready to go boiler up since early this morning. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see, the Nebraska Cornhuskers taking on the Purdue Boilermakers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Boilermakers will boot it away to start the game. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Here comes the offense on first down. They'll give it to the back. Nice move to pick up yardage. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, have <laughs> fun with that. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Right back to the well. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. This Husker running attack will hit you from all angles. You never know who's going to get it next. Yeah, it's kind of like playing that hat game on the stadium jumbotron. Like, where, where's the ball underneath which hat that's going to move around? Always a lot of deception with this Cornhusker offense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. He has the first and still on his feet. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. When you're called Corn Huskers, you're like a big red thrashing machine, and you're going to get it done on the ground. Just going to chew up the ground yards. Just going to eat you up, play physical, be different. And that's what Nebraska fans want. Throw back to the old days, the glory days, and they want some of that here in this recent history. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Takes a handoff, and he's going right. Still running at the 40. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. The Huskers will snap it on first and 10. To the air, it's Rayola. Fires to the big fella. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. They might have the defense's head spinning a little bit now. Hit him with a big run. Now they hit him with a big pass. Man, it's so hard to defend both. You know that. Which coverage do I want to put? Do I want to put more people in the box to stop the run? When you've got this kind of balance on offense, the defense can't be right. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. And you think about when you hit those guys on the move, man. He's already flying so fast, and I gotta adjust my angle as a DB and make sure I keep outside contained. And it's just a, it's a really easy play to run to get positive yards, especially in a situation like that where you're looking for the first down. You run that play, you get it. Nice, easy, breezy. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They get him down, but not before he picks up 
six to the seven yard line. I know the passing game sells, the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. From the gun, wants to pass. He caught it! Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Husker! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. Try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. They go 83 yards on the drive and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They're just about ready to kick it away. Bringing it back. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. First down for this offense. Back to throw. It's Carr. Right down the middle. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, the linebacker's playing zone coverage, and he's just watching the QB's eyes to see where he's going to go with the football, and the eyes take him to the ball. He's able to swat it away. Great play on defense. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. He's looking to throw. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds incomplete. Well, no doubt that was the primary target the quarterback wanted, just not on the same page on that one. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got an open man. Can anyone catch him? And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 40 yards down the field before it's finally stopped. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And this one will be stopped for no gain. What a great play by the linebacker. You talk about filling a hole. Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Got his man quickly. And there might have been trouble if they hadn't gotten to him immediately. Yeah, he threw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. Third and short from the 28. Let's see if this is four down territory or if they just pick up the first here. To the air, it's Carr. Let's it fly deep downfield. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And they'll send out the field goal unit. This one will be a 45-yard attempt, and he'll kick it from the left side. It's good.
So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Leaves it with the running back. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. No, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered. Got three on first down at second and seven. They go to the ground. Picks up the first down. And he's brought down after a nice game. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Power football with the run. Just willed his way for a couple out to 35. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And when those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. They want to run it left here. He was not going to be denied discarding tacklers running behind his pads and finally down to 40. When running backs square their shoulders up. That's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. The Cornhuskers look to keep this drive humming. They'll leave it with him. Bulls his way forward. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. Once first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The back goes in motion. Now he's looking to throw it. Floats it out in space. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Running backs just have to be a weapon in the passing game, even for little dump-offs and check-downs. Yeah, find your matchups. I mean, you think about running back versus a linebacker. We like that matchup in space, and so find ways to get the football to your running back in space where you can break tackles and make things happen because they're just so dynamic. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And another nice gain by the offense. All right, defense, we got to change something up here. They're, they're putting a big drive together, play after play, having a lot of success. How do we break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get momentum back on my side? On the run, it's Rayola. Just a little off. Incomplete. Second down coming up. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Pass the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. That's a great looking run there. And Nebraska's had such a great lineage at running back. When you think back to the great Roger Craig or Amon Green, Lawrence Phillips, Rex Burkhead, they always seem to be pumping somebody up into the NFL. This guy has a chance to play on Sunday because of his skills. Off the play fake on first down. He makes a grab. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. 
How many first downs is that just on this drive? We're going to have to get the training staff to, to give some IVs and get some bananas, and we better stay hydrated because at this rate, the defense is going to play way too many snaps. And the Huskers trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. See if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. Timely decisions, effective play management, helps him get in the end zone after that marathon drive. And every time the offense needed to play, boom, they got it. I mean, you think about it. Whether it was a small run, small pass, whatever they needed, they got it done, and they popped it in for the score. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They're lining up to boot it away. Set to advance on the football. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. It's always great to get points on a drive, but it would behoove them to try to get a touchdown this time around, Palmer. They may have to get out of their comfort zone here too, David, a little bit and just start being more aggressive and take some chances, but that's what's going to have to happen for them to win this game. Yeah, and when you're losing, obviously everything gets heightened. Everything becomes more critical. This drive is crucial because you've got to cut into this deficit and put some points on the board. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. And they give him enough for the first down. They'll move the chains, and let's see if they can snap it one more time here in the first. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Wide receiver shows motion. Leaves it with the back. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. Well, oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. And that last run leaves them with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? They'll try to get the first through the air. Looking to the big tight end. And the third down pass is incomplete. And this offense stays aggressive, and they pass the football. I think you can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it and be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. This is the absolute right call. They're going for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got him, and they can work. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The metrics tell you so often, go ahead, go for it on fourth down, and it pays off there. And that just shows you the head coach's confidence in his quarterback to go out on a critical fourth down and execute. The Boilermakers are moving quickly down the field. Pulls it and fires to the left. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. The Boilermakers have it with a first and ten. 
It's a draw. Bull goes ahead. He's down at the 18 after picking up five. Offensive linemen love when you sneak in draws, when you sneak in screens. It holds these defensive linemen accountable. You want to rush the quarterback, you're going to fly upfield every single play. We'll sneak right behind you and get some yardage. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To throw, it's Carr. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass. It just never developed. Well, this offense will screen you in a variety of ways. They'll throw receiver screens, tight end screens. The running back screen also a big part of what they like to do like you just saw there. This will be the ninth play of the drive coming up. It's a third and two. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Got enough space. And he's loose and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Boilermaker! They just took the air out of that thing. That might be an understatement. They took the ball away and just wore down, just grinded away at that defense. It took a lot of time off the clock in the process as well. I'm impressed with the physicality up front of this offense, because that's where it all starts. If you're going to march the ball down the field like they just did, you got to be dominating in the trenches, and they are doing that in this game right now. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they cut the lead to 14-10. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. And the returner will be knocked down. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical. They wanted to establish the line of scrimmage. And they're running downhill right at this defense. And they're churning out positive yardage early. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. to the ground with the back. And they try the middle of this stout defense and they rise to the challenge. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. You wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. Looking for a man, it's Rayola. And the pass hits, picked up! Trying to take it back. Touchdown, Purdue! A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. Well, you don't see this very often. A defensive lineman getting the pick six. What an individual effort to get his hands on the football. How about that athleticism? And then take it to the house. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. 
Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Off the play fake. Unloads to the right. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. The give to the back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. They'll try the run. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. on the ground again here on third down the play action fake it's caught and they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play this dude is just exceptional in every facet so fluid such a great route runner and a big play there and money down third down find him I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win and gets a good release, gets down the field. You see his, that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him and get the first down. Finds his man. It's Fadon. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy game. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive turns. Can White cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. The Huskers line it up with a first and goal. Trying to bully their way in. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska! Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they take a 21-17 lead. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Really nice job to squirt his way up to the 31-yard line. I know that's not a huge game. 
but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. And now on third down after that last run. Looking to move the chains. They pull it complete to the left. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. It's a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And they tried to sneak the draw in there, and the defense was not fooled. You know, there's an art to selling the draw play, and that one was uh, kind of more paint by numbers. Didn't turn out so well. Yeah, and the defense, you could tell, they weren't fooled. They were agreeing with your painting by numbers and got in there quick, fast, and made the play. They'll go to the ground. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Looking downfield, it's Card. Fires to the middle. He can't make the grab. It's incomplete, but there is a flag, and I believe this is going to be pass interference. The offense comes back out with a new set of downs after the penalty. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Make the stop at the 40, but it's a 10-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. The Boilermakers are marching down the field. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. He's going to pass. Got it in the middle. It's Smith. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Wants to throw on first down. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And that play right there really shows you the trust between the quarterback and his wide receiver. They've obviously worked for hours all season long on these routes near the sideline. Nice throw, great catch. And the Boilermakers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Going to try to pop one on the screen. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. You can hand it to him. You can throw it to him. Either way, he's making his presence felt. Those are your favorite plays, Reese. The him plays, right? <laughs> Finding ways to get him the ball because he can make plays, whether it's running or receiving out of the backfield. They're going to continue to highlight this guy. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Now on second down. The aerial assault continues. Snags it. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets it up on the catch for the first down. And a great job by the QB finding the running back, get him the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. And a chance to really carry momentum with them into the locker room if they can take the lead here. First and goal. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Looking downfield, it's Carr. And it's caught! Touchdown, Boilermaker! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. My 
lining up for the PAT. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown ball. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Catch in the middle, it's Fidel. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see them develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. Diving up a second down pass play. Grabbed over the middle. It's Fidel. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. The Cornhuskers will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. They're working that left side. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. Nice quick throw there. And it's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. Trying play action. He unleashes a long one. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there. And now it's fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly. But the timing completely off there for the offense. And the ball falls incomplete. The Boilermakers line up to punt it away. First time today we've seen a punter go to work. He'll bring it back. It's Henderson. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Bakes the grab on the left. Bulldozes his way through. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. Now across the 15 at the 48-yard line. They'll have it first and 10. <laughs> Getting set on second down. Looking to pass. It's Rayola. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. They're bringing heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Oh, that's a 
that's a missed opportunity. You know the quarterback was excited. He saw man coverage. He thought he was going to have an opportunity to come up with a big play, but up front, they could not protect him well enough. And the Huskers send out the punt unit. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Takes the handoff. It's McCoby. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. Lining up to convert third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. And how about the timing of the linebacker on the blitz to get in the backfield and get the tackle for loss? Is there anything better for a linebacker than to run on a blitz and nobody's home except the back? Such a great feeling when, when the Moses parts the Red Sea and the hole opens up and you go fill it. Makes a move. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Went to the running game on first down. Now second down. Give to the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. We see if they go back to the run here on third down. To the air, it's Rayola. Throws to the wideout. Oh, he dropped the football. He had it right in the middle of the field and just ran before he finished the catch. It'll be fourth down. And on that third down play, there just wasn't any timing between the quarterback as an intended target. As a result, ball falls incomplete, setting up fourth. The Huskers will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. From the gun, running back on the move. Not much there. They'll give him one to the 14. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. He'll set up to throw. A little screen to the running back. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. And that's why as a defense you want to set up third and long situations. You just want to be able to keep the football in front of you. It's okay for that quarterback to hit the running back on that pass. Now you have all those bodies flying to the football and they're able to make a tackle. 
Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looking for a block, it's Henderson. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Running back searching for a hole. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to change something up. He's a little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. How about that elusiveness? He's got space. Almost took it all the way, but a huge gain, and he has him set up first and goal. What great explosiveness by this running back to break through and almost get to the house, Jesse, but just comes up short. Well, I'll tell you, he had a lot of help downfield as well. Receivers getting blocks and making life easier on the back there, and all of a sudden now this offense knocking on the door deep down in their opponent's territory. He's got it! And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. Slams ahead. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Cutting it close now with third and goal upcoming. Calls his own number. Touchdown, Cornhuskers! And that one will give him the lead. The defense knew coming into this game they were going to have their hands full. Not only did they have to worry about these running backs in the running game, they had to worry about the quarterback as well. On designed runs and on scrambles, they didn't have an answer for him right there. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. Little touch pass to the receiver. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. You got to fight fire with fire. You got to fight speed with speed. There's a receiver with the ball out in the open field trying to get the corner, but a cornerback with the same type of speed and athleticism able to make the tackle. Nice job. We'll see if they can dig one up. It goes forward this time on second down from the 18. Using the quick game. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. And what that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play call. And they got the completion, but still looking at a third down. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. From the gun, the running back has it. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And he breaks into the open. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. And busting big runs like this, we always talk about the running backs, but it's the big boys up front paving their lanes, those receivers gluing on those DBs that make these plays really go for big yardage. 
And how about those receivers? Not just the glamour of catching passes, but doing some dirty work, too. No doubt. When they get on those guys in the second level and get on those DBs, that's when you break those big, long runs. He makes the connection. Obliterates him, still on the move. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. Last couple of plays, the offense seems to be just one step ahead, David. Yeah, and I'm going to have to do something to disrupt the timing, the rhythm. i got to do something that they're not expecting, because right now they got the run and they got the pass working. So this defense, we're going to have to find something new to kind of confuse this offense. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Wants to throw. It's Carr. Makes the grab. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Looking for the touchdown on third and goal. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Purdue! And the QB saw it right away. He knew it. As soon as he got that football, he got it in his hands. He loved this matchup. Finding the big fella, getting the touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. So it's an 80-yard drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Got it to open the quarter with this first down play. Here's the handoff. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking to throw, it's Rayola. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it. And the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing. But now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. you got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. 
What a good mix of plays, keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last time. So on this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. The Boilermakers want to move quickly. Comes out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Offense gets set for second down. Wide out in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. A pickup of eight now to convert this third and two. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. He's got it down the middle. Then they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Wide receiver now comes in motion. He'll just keep slinging it. Fires to the middle. Touchdown, Boilermaker! Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being hard. No shot. They have no idea how to get this quarterback down. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Going up top on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Mayer. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. And they'll come to the line with less than a yard to go. Hand off from the shotgun. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. They'll give it to him again. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. Back to pass. It's Rayola. Throws to the tight end. A strike downfield. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. 
Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. The give to the tailback. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Brought down after picking up three, down to the 22. short from the 22 is the field goal unit getting ready or is this already four down territory and he's tripped up but not before picking up the first down yeah and this offense listen we're in warp speed right we got we got to score a bunch of points here we're down we're trailing we got to go fast but we also got to get first downs and that's a nice job sneaking in the run getting the first down and now we crank the tempo back up the Cornhuskers getting set on first and ten the give to the back. They make the stop, and they give up five yards on the run. It's down to the 11. This is a really nice job by the running back making the first guy miss and going to get positive yards. This guy's got some wiggle you saw it on the floor. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. He'll try it again. Touchdown, Husker! And they take it in for six more points. They got the score they needed, but this isn't over. No, don't call it a comeback yet. The first part, step one accomplished, but this offense obviously still has work to do, but the defense has to go out and get a stop and get him the ball back. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So they put together a nine-play, 75-yard drive. And it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive on the move from inside is five and the returner could find no daylight he goes down the boilermakers have it back and here comes the offense that last drive an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown jesse it was a nice job in play calling too david just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute and he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. They'll snap it from the 26 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. With the catch, it's Smith. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. Gives it to the back on the draw. And this guy really has been a workhorse today. He's made plays when his offense needed them the most. He's a guy who's reliable. They know they can turn around, give him the football, and he'll go make things work out. They're going to need him to finish this game. He has to continue playing well after that big run there. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. A jet sweep pass. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day. So, been a successful day. Now, 300 yards 
I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Uh, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. Yeah, and what a nice job seeing it, reacting, and throwing it. When you run these RPOs, you want to read the defense really quickly. Is he playing run? Okay, boom. I'm going to throw the slant right behind him. Nice job by the QB. The give to the running back from the shotgun. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. Got his man. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. And they did everything right in this four-minute type situation, trying to bleed the clock. First, you get the completion. Then you get the first down, and you stay in bounds. You could not execute that play any better. On first and 10 from the 38. Back to pass. It's Card. He's got his man. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. The quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. They'll probably bleed every second possible off this clock before they snap it. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. The Boilermakers get it past the sticks. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. Moving closer to the red zone, it's at the 27 on first down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Got a man, it's Smith. And he's brought down after a nice game. And the Boilermakers will line it up on first and ten. Run in the red zone. It's McCoby. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking for space, it's McCoby. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And gang tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. You already have the lead. Scoring is always good, but milk the clock and it will be your friend. 